seen that Zion was actually scooping the ball soon, like soon as I rolled over. Can you tell us a little about the Bolton drill that you guys do sometimes? Oh, man, we – Bolton drill, that's like an everyday thing. You know, we go over the bags, and they want us to make a firm, firm grip on the ball, make sure you get the ball, scoop and score. Tristan, what's it like when – it seems like everybody's making plays. You guys got three sacks, seven tackles for loss. You guys forced four turnovers. I mean, how does that just feel? I mean, it's a good feeling. That's a good feeling, you know. Um, Working all week, by week, um, trying to make sure we go in and tackle, get get the quarterback. Don't want to um, miss any easy shots. So um, that's a good feeling. How, how hard is it to stay kind of disciplined though when everybody's making plays and mm-hmm. kind of join in on the fun? Um, you just want to you know stay focused and lock in because they account they'll tip on a team and you want to make sure you get your eyes back to the sideline and get the call. So that's really the thing where we got to make sure we locked in. Mm-hmm. You didn't exactly see the fumble, and then all of a sudden you kind of looked up like, oh my God, what happened? Yeah, so I, would, I, didn't, I didn't know I made him fumble. And when I seen that he fumbled, I was actually going to go to block, but our coaches teach us not to block behind the ball. So I was just excited to see one of my teammates having it running towards the end zone. So. Tristan, it wasn't just that one, uh, it wasn't just that one play. You, you were a factor on that 10 tackles, two and a half for loss. But take me through that one in the third quarter, their first drive, it's fourth and one, and then you and Christian come in and come off the outside and stop them for a loss on that play. Huge momentum playing the game. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, they tried to get us right there. They tried to tempo it, make it um, go fast on us. Um, that's the stuff that we practice all week. You know, we seen that in the end of the bye week. Um, and I know that that B gap was a little loose, so I tried to get skinny and just tried to get some penetration in there and stop him. Tristan, you you guys tell us every week. Your coach comes in here and tells us every week, mm-hmm. block out the noise. We don't pay any attention. Mm-hmm. Coach Drinkwitz's comments after this game, like, look, we understand you guys hear everything. How mm-hmm. do you balance block out the noise versus use the noise for motivation? Um, for me. We have a busy schedule, you know. We don't try to take too much time. We don't take really no time to look at comments or what anybody else got to say about this football team. We know what we can do, you know, and we believe in each other. And we always say it's just us. So the outside noise don't matter to us. Just a couple weeks ago was the drive versus Auburn with Brady coming back in this game. Seeing Drew Pond throw three touchdowns and lead that two minute mm-hmm. that two minute drive. What's it like when the defense is playing how it's playing and it's also got some help from the offense? Um, that's a good. That's also a good feeling for us, man. You know, um, those are the things we want to continue to bring to this, you know, to this football team. Um, we believe in Drew. You know, we told him all week. We know he's gonna go out there and do it. You got it. We know he played in some big games in the past, so we always believed in Drew, and Drew believed in us. So. Justin, you and uh, Courtney Black combined for 24 tackles tonight. Talk about the, uh, the value that he brings to this defense and the value both of you guys bring. Corey, he consistent, man. You know, um, he a guy that want to make sure everybody's on point. He, if you kind of lost, you know, you don't know what's going on in the moment, he a guy that you can rely on. He tell you what you got, you know. Um, he just a really consistent guy. He pretty good, so. Tristan, can you just kind of walk through the motions from a game like this defensively where it's just tough short drive after short drive where you're on the field for a while mm-hmm. and kind of have to like I said, man, it's a good feeling for us, but um, we didn't never give up. You know, um, coach came over to the sideline, told her it's not over. You know, um, when our offense was driving back downfield, led to Drew scoring, that's when we knew it's time to go back out and, you know, play aggressive. You know, anything can happen. So it was pretty good for us. Oh, um, he just really um, he say motivational things. You know, he um motivated us. He a guy that you know he brings a lot of energy. Um, I can't really tell you exactly what he said off the bat, but he 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 motivates this team every day. Every day at practice, he come in with that energy. When God sees Zion, he just everybody face light up. Like, yep, there you go. This it. So, Tristan, they had uh, their largest pass play outside of the forty three yard pick punt was a fourteen yard pass. Mm. Uh, the job your defense did in stopping them from- um, 
just giving credit to the um secondary. You know, um those guys they work hard all week. Same as the linebackers. We know um we got to rely on them to play behind us, and we want to be able to support and stop the run. So we rely on the on the DBs, the secondary, and they did a pretty good job. And that, that's a pretty good group we got back there. So pretty good. Tristan, this was the first time that Missouri has played against Oklahoma since 2011, and obviously this is a rivalry renewed from the Big 12. Mm -hmm. How was the environment playing in such a high stakes kind of game between a former rival and now kind of reborn? Man, that was a great environment. When we did the Tiger Walk coming down here. Everybody on the team felt it then, you know. We seen a lot of people and it's just a great feeling, you know, for our team to um go out and play against a team like Oklahoma, which is a good team. It was a good battle for us and that's exactly what we needed for us in the season, you know, to carry on until next week. One and oh. All right, thank you, Tristan. Yes, sir. Thank y'all.